You know, I think I, I think the, 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 the best way to answer that question is to for you to imagine what the internet has meant to your life. You know, just look at what it has done for you. So it's going to do exactly that to uh, to additional billion people. In in fact, in a way, slightly different, in fact, more than you've experienced for the simple reason that we're talking about two billion more experiences being added to the, to, to the internet where that to happen. Um, and, 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 and I think it can only be something that's going to be positive for the simple reason that as far as I'm concerned, like somebody said just a few minutes ago that the United Nations has declared development as a right, I think access to the internet should be a right, um, especially as we move forward more and more into the knowledge economy. There's no question about that because so much of what um, people, uh, people's responsibilities and people's uh, what they get out of life is going to be dependent on access to information uh, and by implication access to information technology and more specifically access to the internet. So it's going to be critical to get access to the internet, to access education, to access government services, to access commerce, you know, I mean, for you or somebody based in the United States, you want to buy something, there's absolutely no problem about that. You just go online, you know, file in your, uh, you know, get get the product you want, put in your credit card numbers and information, and that's it. For a lot of people in Africa, that's a challenge, and that's a huge deprivation that costing, uh, that's, that's causing very untold, uh, un, un, untold uh, inconveniences, and not to mention the impact on development uh, that causes also.